You're right. Let's talk about a triangle problem. Every triangle has three corners. Every triangle has three sides. No more, no less. You don't have to guess. Because there's three, can't you see? You know, it's the magic number. Nine? No, three. That's a song. <laughs> three is the magic number. Oh. But you don't worry about it. Schoolhouse Rock was way before your time. <laughs> the second angle of a triangle is four degrees less than the first. And the third angle is twice the first. Oh, my goodness. Just give up now, right? Stop yes. the video. Go find something else. Go watch Lady Gaga or something. Maybe, maybe you should draw a picture. It doesn't have to be a pretty triangle. But a triangle does have three sides and does have three angles. Okay. Now, whenever you're doing this, I want you to use proper notation when it comes to the geometry here. So we're going to have to find the measure of each of these angles. So we need to find the measure of angle one, the measure of angle two, and the measure of angle three. So make sure that you do write these guys correctly. Now, I've got three things that I don't know here. But it goes back to what I said before. What's the guy you know least about? There's somebody here we don't know anything about. All three sides. No. We don't, well, we, don't, we don't know anything about the sides, but I don't care about the sides of this triangle. I care about the angles of the triangle. But of these three angles, I do know something about the second one, because the oh. second one is four that. less than the first one, so I know something about the second one. So that's why you the first angle. Right. First the first angle is the guy I don't know anything about, right? Everybody else depends on him. Isn't that just x? Right. So let's just go ahead and say that the measure of angle one is represented by x. Now, if that's true, how would you represent the measure of the second angle? X minus 4. Because it says 4 degrees less than, so I'm taking 4 away from the first one. X minus 4. I'm sorry, start that over, please. So the first? First one is X, because okay. we don't know anything about the measure of the first angle. The second one is, read what it says. 4 degrees less. 4 degrees less than the first angle. And what about the third angle? The third angle is what? Twice the first angle, so that's why we're going to represent that guy by 2x. Equals 180? Even though the hint's not written on here, you have it on your handout, if you add up the angles of a triangle, you get 180 degrees, as long as that triangle is in a plane. So if I add all of these up, x plus x minus 4, plus 2x, all of that should equal 180 degrees. Say again? Right, when I go and combine like terms, that's what I'll have, but let's make sure we understand. This is the measure of angle 1, the measure of angle 2, 3, and then this is your total. You guys with me on that? It's the sum of the parts equals the total. So you have to figure out the total if you didn't know. Well, you should know it. This is one of those things that I'm going to assume you know. Like certain formulas, you, you, you know them, or you wouldn't be here. So when I combine these like terms, I come up with 4x minus 4 equals 180. How about you guys? Yeah. <coughs> so now solve this guy. Add 4 to both sides. 4x equals 184. And how do I finish this? X equals 46. Divide. Divide by 4. You do the division and you come up with 46. What was x representing? The, angle angle one. the measure of angle 1, right? So what we can say is this. And, and you know, you don't have to write a sentence for this guy. You could just list the information and say that the measure of angle 1 equals 46. Now when you do this, Degree. don't forget to put your degree symbol. Otherwise, it means something else. And what's the measure of angle 2 now? Because x was just the measure of angle 1. Right, the measure of angle 2 was 4 degrees less than that. So 4 degrees less than 46 is 42. 
And then the measure of angle 3 was given to us to be twice the first one. So what is that? 92. What? 92. 92 degrees. Which is about how hot it is right now. Okay. How do we know this stuff is right? Add it up. It better add up to give me 180, right? Mm -hmm. Or else you're wrong. No, you're wrong. I'm not wrong. 6 plus 2 plus 2 is 10, carry the 1. So 9 plus 1 is 10, with the two 4s is 18. So it does add up to give me 180 degrees. So you can see it's a lot like the problem in the other video, uh, where we were talking about the length of a board. It was cut into two pieces. Well, 180 degrees is separated into th these three angles. They all add up to give you 180. I'm going to be in the dunce of the class, I guess. Okay, so once you determine exactly what each, what each side is, then you just basically just go back and plug it in to... Once I figure out X, X being defined up here as the measure of my first angle. And I built everything else off of that, right? So I said that the measure of angle 2 was 4 degrees less than this. So if I plug 46 back in here, I get 46 minus 4. Right. If I plug x back in here, that's 2 times 46. And that's how I'm able to get the 42 and the 92 respectively. And when I combine all of these guys, since this is a triangle, all of the angle measures should add up to give me 180, 180 degrees.